The impeachment trial of Ken Paxton could cost a lot of money. Texas House members hired Dick DeGarren and Rusty Hardin, two of the most high profile defense attorneys in all of Texas. And though they're taking a pay cut, their price tag is still pretty steep. Yeah, they were hired at $500 an hour to prosecute the case. Our Ryan Chandler joining us now to, Ryan, really help us understand how pricey this could get. Yeah, well, y'all are right. It's not coming cheap, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be a pretty penny. And we only know this because of our KXAN investigator, David Barrer, and a legal expert. They obtained the records that show that these attorneys' payments could easily hit six figures, could even go into the millions of dollars. Now, those contracts don't give a maximum value or any kind of payment structure, but David Cole, a Dallas appellate attorney with, and a legal expert, says that what the prosecutors Rusty Harden and Dick DeGarren and their teams are getting in this kind of case is still an extraordinary discount. Usually when they're doing this kind of work, he says that they could charge up to $1,500 an hour. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. And Ryan, we, right. know, we know that in, uh, in civil litigation, we know that the discovery process before the trial, that's what usually costs the most. Yeah. How much is that costing? So the state actually got uh, another pretty big discount during the discovery process because instead of hiring uh, big law firms like, like Rusty and, and uh, Dick DeGarren work for, they, they hired uh, House investigators to do this. The House General Investigating Committee used several other attorneys during its initial investigation. That's when we saw them lay out the initial evidence in front of the, the committee. And uh, that, that was a, a big discount. The committee contracted with those three outside attorneys and they each earned between four to five thousand dollars for that work from uh, March 20th through the end of April. Now the Texas Legislative Council also brought in three other attorneys to investigate the case for the General Investigating Committee and that paperwork shows the Chief Counsel Aaron Epley was brought on March 16th at ten thousand dollars a month. Two others earned thirty six hundred dollars a month. So at those rates for all six of those attorneys all of their work in April the total was about twenty seven thousand dollars Again, I should note that the attorneys working on behalf of the House are, are being paid by the state. That's taxpayer money, uh, and all those records are public. So we, we have a transparent look at how all of this is costing. All right, Ryan. I, you know, you've been busy at work. Thank you so much <laughs> for breaking this down for us. Thanks. And don't forget, we do have everything we just talked about over on KXAN.com. Just read David Barrera's cost breakdown under this story.